Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Thursday, October 5th, 2023. I am Bronte Swanstead Hendrickson. A teacher at the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School, Shabena Powell, was one of nine young persons in Nevis who were recognized for their contributions to nation building at the Youth Impact 12 Awards Ceremony on September 28th. The event saw Powell being awarded in the category of Education and Lifelong Learning for the program's 2022 to 2023 cycle. A skit performed during the ceremony gave insight into the young teacher's career. Growing up around teachers, her inspiration to do the same was instilled. A youth level teacher before attending CFBC, even now she enjoys watching her students, both past and present, succeed. By helping new teachers with their teaching strategies, her kind-heartedness is always seen. But not only a teacher, eh? What else? A chaperone tuba. Mama, mama. Helping to prepare the students them for the pageant dubbed Mr. and Miss Talented Youth. Mm. She inspires to change the lives of our youth and potentially open her own school. Shabena Powell finds rewards to helping those in school, dedicated to bettering lives and changing them too. Shabena Powell received her award from Kevin Barrett, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education and Youth. When I started more than a decade ago, there was no Youth Impact 12 award ceremony, nor was there an active desire to be an awardee. I am often commended by colleagues and parents for the work I do. And though that gives me inspiration, it is a love for sharing knowledge and life skills that I developed over the years that ignites a burning passion within me. That passion keeps me going. I am grateful for my journey to this point, having started at the St. Thomas's Primary, where my love for teaching began and was properly groomed, to now being at the Elizabeth Pemberton, where such love is allowed to flourish in pursuit of academic and social excellence. To Mrs. Shinella Nisbet, Ms. Chanel Pemberton, Ms. Tamish Sadler, Ms. Kiweta, and Kiweta Daniel, sorry, and the Department of Youth and Sports, I say thank you. Meantime, as Nevis joined the celebration of World Teachers Day on Thursday, October 5th, Minister of Education, the Honorable Troy Lybird, encouraged parents and members of the public to show appreciation to teachers for their outstanding contribution to educating the next generation. The theme for World Teachers Day 2023 is the teachers we need for the education we want, the global imperative to reverse the teacher shortage. Shortage. In a statement to mark the occasion, Minister Liber noted that teachers have the potential to build and shape the lives of our children. Teachers answered the call and rose to the occasion to join a profession of transformation. On October 5th each year, we have the opportunity to highlight and celebrate our teachers, the Education Minister said, as he commended the island's past and present teachers for all they have done and continue to do to ensure the nation's children grow into successful adults. Still to come. Our team has visited the town of Tallinn in Estonia, Helsinki in Finland, and has met with personnel from the Ministries of Education. The details after this break. Everybody sitting down. What you doing, huh? Welcome back. 
Premier the Honourable Mark Brantley on Monday, September 2nd, met with students from Nevis who are part of the St. Kitts and Nevis Robotics team. The team, led by founder of the St. Kitts and Nevis Robotics Association, Dr. Ricardo Neal, will be travelling to Singapore for the 2023 First Global Robotics Challenge from October 7th to 10th. The students from Nevis are Mayer Daswani, Jaden Clark, Naila Taylor and Vika. Singh. The annual robotics event will bring together thousands of students from more than 190 countries to collaboratively compete in a thrilling game highlighting the importance of renewable energy and its potential to create a better future for all. The Hydrogen Horizons game challenges participants to use their creativity and problem-solving skills to design and build a skilled robot from a standard kit of parts. The teams must then navigate their robots in the simulated world to produce hydrogen and use it to store, transport and convert energy. The season's activities provide a platform for participants to develop their skills and learn from experts in the field while promoting cultural exchange and understanding. Commencing on September 16th, a delegation of three representatives from the Nevis Island Administration's Ministry of Education and Information Technology formed part of a two-week study tour in Estonia and Finland. The aim of the tour was to expose the team to practices in Estonia and Finland, which allow for the effective integration of technology into the education system in Nevis. The European country of Estonia has a population of 1.3 million persons and has successfully achieved a comprehensive e-governance system which also includes digital education. Estonia is number one in Europe in digital education. This is according to the Center for European Policy Studies which assessed the European country's performance of digital learning. The delegation comprised of Zanella Claxton, Principal Education Officer, John Williams, Education Officer responsible for Science, Technology, Engineering and Math, STEM, and Jevon Claxton, Deputy Director of the Information Technology IT Department, was accompanied by Elsa Wilkin Armbrister, Minister, Counselor and Deputy Head of Mission at the St. Kitts and Davis High Commission in in London. Our team has visited the town of Tallinn in Estonia, Helsinki in Finland, and has met with personnel from the ministries of education, early childhood, primary and secondary schools, and universities. Worthy of note that technology integration falls under the STEM initiative, which was rolled out by our Department of Education earlier this year. Among the skills which would be introduced in digital literacy, are the use of technology for collaboration and communication, digital citizenship in a global world, and creative digital solutions such as coding. Skills like coding will produce students who are better prepared for new and emerging fields such as robotics and programming and development which will prepare students for current and future employment opportunities. Coding also builds critical thinking and collaboration skills needed to access existing scholarships and careers and we hope will create avenues for new careers as well. Premier of Nevis, the Honourable Mark Brantley. The Cabinet of the Government of St. Kitts and Nevis has given its seal of approval to the Early Childhood Care and Education Policy and Minimum Operating Standards. The post-Cabinet briefing from Monday, October 2nd states that this guiding document will direct the efforts of the Ministry of Education's Early Childhood Development Unit, the supervisory team, personnel in the public early childhood sector, and private owners of early childhood facilities. The cabinet also approved the formulation of regulations that will provide more detailed guidance on the registration and licensing of early childhood care and education facilities. Additionally, there will be the formation of a National Early Childhood Council. Its aim is to steer the sector, drawing from regional guidelines and 
legislation to determine its establishment and operational procedures. According to the post-cabinet briefing, the government of St. Kitts and Davis places high importance on enhancing the accessibility, affordability, and quality of early childhood care and education. This emphasis is rooted in evidence indicating that quality early childhood programs offer substantial benefits to children, families, communities, and the economy. Children from disadvantaged backgrounds stand to gain the most. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.